This is the third year of this event. Uh, I think the date we've raised in the first two years, almost $30,000 for the local Leukemia Society. It's in honor of Alex Knees, one of our uh, players uh, who was struck with leukemia uh, three years ago, but has made his way back into the lineup. And we're excited he's back with us. Nev says he is doing well, despite still being on medication. And this event has become important for his family. My mom will be there. She's there. She was there two years ago. She'll be there this year. Uh, just with the t-shirt fundraising and trying to help out the cause. So it has become a community, a school event, but it, it was originally started by, you know, the boys lacrosse team in honor of their teammate. And it's, it's grown and we have, you know, a wonderful silent auction. We're bidding, you know, raffle tickets for these beautiful personally dyed crossheads and shafts. And um, uh, you know, all the money raised will go to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Mo Nevs organizes the silent auction which raises the most money for the event. This year, items include golf packages, a hand-stitched basket, and gift baskets. The silent auction relies on local donations from vendors, supporters, and former players. I think that the alumni is a huge part of the support for this. Um, it's a family of lacrosse. It's not just each year that there's a bunch of graduates. It's, you know, the alumni are just as involved as the current students. Um, they've been a big part of it. It's, uh, you know, once you leave here, you leave here physically, but mentally, what it's shown me is that this is a family. It doesn't matter how old it is, but everybody pretty much stays in touch, continues to gather, and work toward great causes. So it's, it's all good. Current players are heavily involved as well. Each class put together a gift basket and players and coaches sold t-shirts on campus during the week to raise additional money. Senior attackman Zach Hill has been able to watch the event grow over its first three years. Well, I mean, it's, it's not only growing the sport, but it's also growing to a great cancer research. Uh, Lax Leukemia has grown a lot of strength in the past couple of years uh, from guys like Al and you know throughout the uh, country. While many people think that helping out in the fight against leukemia is as simple as giving some blood, Mo Neves says you don't actually realize what goes into the battle until you're dealing with it personally. I'm embarrassed to say I just didn't really realize the importance of it. I would give blood. Um, and I would do things like that, but I didn't really understand why. I thought it was uh, somebody needed surgery and needed extra blood, and, and that, you know, the blood banks do do it for that, but I just didn't really understand until you're affected with it, how important it is, and that they rely on people to do these kind of things. You know? The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society also does research to aid in the diagnosis and treatment of blood cancers, improve access to therapy options for patients, and tries to raise as much money as possible to reach more of those in need. That's why events like Lax for Leukemia are so important to the LLS. Today our goal is to um, provide any information that people need um, and long term our goals with, uh, my goal with volunteering with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is to raise awareness and pr help to get more money for research. So um, I benefited from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society research myself. Um, they funded research uh, for one of the drugs that helped save my life so I'm just trying to give back in any way I can. It's those who have been personally impacted by leukemia or lymphoma who are driven to do the most, but they've also learned to focus more on the present than the future. So there's no telling exactly where lax for leukemia will go from here, as long as it keeps growing. I don't know that I have goals long and short term um, in that my son's illness has taught me I try not to look too far ahead and I try not to regret what I've done in the past. So to be involved and, and I think it's fair to say that it, it would be nice if every year it got a little bigger, it got a little better, and we raised a little bit more money. That that's all I can hope for. So and I think I think we're on the road to that now. While organizers don't know how much money was raised this year just yet, they do expect the total to be higher than last year as they went through more T shirts and saw a bigger crowd. Ultimately, that means more people have been educated about the LLS. Just as long as people are kind of aware of what's going on, what we're trying to do, um, you know, I think that's considered a success.